Hi there, Cancerians. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at January 23 through January 29. There's a new moon this week, the first new moon of 2017, and it's going to be transiting your eighth house of intimacy, joint resources, and joint investments, money and sex. Let me tell you, I've had more clients uh, with issues with money and sex money and or sex, but it's usually both. And I find that it really is the two, the really, you know, the two main reasons that, that couples have such upset and drama is infidelity, lack of sex, sexual attraction, lack of money, or, you know, just not trusting each other financially and not being equal financially. All matters that are going to be on your to-do list and things that you'll be thinking about. You're a very nurturing sign. You're the sign of the mother in astrology. Now, sometimes I found with my Cancerian female clients and even the male clients, this can come off as a maternal thing. And sometimes you smother your lover with your maternal instincts and your, you know, you cook a meal and do the laundry and, you know, um, take the garbage out and do all that sort of wonderful stuff. And sometimes your partner starts to look at you as being, you know, a maternal figure, someone to look after them versus a sexy, motivated, you know, hasn't, hasn't got time to do all that all the time. Sure, you can do it once in a while, but not all the time. Sometimes you have to have that air of mystery where you're out and about doing your thing. And I think this new moon is going to be the wake-up call for those of you who are struggling in their relationships and are having issues over those things that we talked about. Now, Chinese New Year happens this week, and it's the year of the fire rooster. According to Chinese astrology, rooster years are times of drama and progressive action, and the element of fire indicates strong-willed and flamboyant leaders. The last fire rooster year was 1957. The week ends on a mental note when Mercury links together with Pluto on Sunday, January 29 for the only time this year. This Mercury-Pluto conjunction is known for bringing up deep issues. And that means that for those of you who are in the throes of having these con you know, conversations with your other half or someone you're in business with about money, uh, don't get too, you know, jazzed up about it because when it comes down to it, if it's just about the money, it's just about the money. Thanks so much and I'll speak to you soon.